Welcome, boys and girls. Welcome to J. Crew. This is a beautiful day that the Lord has made, and we have come together to worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. We do have a message for you today, boys and girls. And yes, this is J. Crew. Even though I'm wearing the shirt that says the Wanna Clubs, this is J. Crew. And I just wanted to wear the shirt to give you a reminder, just in case you did not know, but every Wednesday, Every Wednesday at six o'clock, we post out on our YouTube channel, Brown Missionary Baptist Church YouTube channel, we post a Bible lesson, a Bible lesson that will help you to carry through for the rest of the week. Boys and girls, we need the word of God, yes, today, but we need it all during the week as well, because it gives our soul strength to fight off the temptations of the devil and also give us the opportunity to obey God and bring a smile upon his face. So I pray that you will join us um, on YouTube, Brown Baptist YouTube channel, each Wednesday beginning at six o'clock. There will be a lesson at six o'clock, maybe at 6 30, seven o'clock. Um, boys and girls, join us so that you can be thoroughly equipped to fight off the schemes of the devil. Amen. Amen. That's why I'm wearing the you. Um, the Awana Club's um, t-shirt today. So we're going to pray and we're going to be on our way with the J Crew message for today. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for these children. Bless their hearts, their minds, and their spirits. And may something be, be said today, dear Lord, that will encourage them to want to know Jesus more personally. Lord, that is our ultimate goal is that these children will learn how much you love them and they will fall in love with you so that they will go on this, live in this world, in this world, letting their light so shine that people may see their good deeds and glorify you in the kingdom of heaven. Lord, we love you. We adore you. Bless the time that we have together. Give the kids wisdom and understanding. May they produce roots and bear much fruit. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, so boys and girls, I want you to go get your Bibles, and we are going to pause for a moment and go into the word for today. Amen. Amen. Hello, boys and girls. I'm back, Mrs. Patricia. Welcome to J. Crew, from my home to your home. Today's lesson is titled, God Changed Jacob. This story is in the Bible. I love the Bible because it contains God's words. So that means this is a true story because all the words in the Bible are true, which means this story really happened. The story comes from the first book in the Bible, which is what book, boys and girls? You are right. Genesis is the first book in the Bible. So get your Bible and you can find the story in Genesis chapter 25 through 33. I found it. So let's get started with today's Bible story. I'm going to read it and I want you to listen as I read the story. Abraham's son, Isaac, grew up and he married Rebekah. Isaac was a man who loved God. For a long time, he and Rebekah had no children. They were sad. Isaac prayed to God. He asked God to give them children. God answered Isaac's prayer. God told Rebecca she was going to have twin babies. Rebecca gave birth to two baby boys, and she named them Jacob and Esau. The twins looked very different from each other. Esau, who was born first, was very red. He had lots of hair. You see, Esau, Jacob was born shortly after. He had smooth skin without a lot of hair. This is Jacob. As Esau and Jacob grew up, they became even more different. 
they didn't look like each other. And they didn't act like each other either. Isaac was proud of his big, strong son, Esau. Esau was dad's favorite. Well, Rebecca, she was very proud of her quiet, helpful son, Jacob. Jacob was mom's favorite. Boys and girls, it was God who made the boys different. Just like he has made you different from the people in your family. Although family members are different, the Bible tells us, that we must love one another. So when the men grew up, Jacob tricked Isaac and stole his brother's blessing. Boys and girls, that blessing is called a birthright. Esau was born before Jacob. That meant that one day Esau would get a special gift. This gift was called a birthright. The birthright meant that one day Esau would be the family's leader. Esau would be given most of his father's things. Well, Jacob didn't like that. So one day, Esau, he was very tired and he was very hungry after being working all day long. He asked his brother for a bowl of soup that Jacob had cooked. Jacob could have said, sure, there is plenty for all of us. But instead, Jacob said, I'll give you soup, but first you have to make a promise. Promise me that I can have your birthright. Esau, he was very hungry, and Esau, he was very tired, and he didn't realize what he was doing. He promised, and Jacob gave his brother the soup. Well, guess what? Jacob lied to his father, who was very, very, very sick. So Jacob lied so that he instead of Esau, could receive his father's blessing. Boys and girls, Jacob was very unkind to his brother, and he lied to his father. You can choose if you're going to be kind or unkind to the people in your family, boys and girls. Lies make families sad, and it makes them angry, and it causes them not to be able to get along and to be fair with each other. God wants us to tell the truth to the people in our families. The Bible says, speak the truth and be kind to one another. Well, boys and girls, once Esau realized what had happened, Esau was very angry with his brother Jacob. He was so angry that Isaac and Rebekah felt something bad was going to happen between the boys. So what they did, they demanded that Jacob leave their house. And Jacob did. He lived with his uncle for a long, long time. God blessed Jacob. In spite of what he had done, God blessed Jacob with a wife and a large family. After many years, God told Jacob to go back to his father's house. I will be with you. Jacob was weary. He wondered if his brother was still mad at him. Jacob was told that his brother Esau was going to meet him with 400 men. Jacob was afraid, so afraid. So he asked for God's help. Do you think God helped Jacob? Yes, God did help Jacob. So God instructed Jacob to send gifts to Esau. And one of those gifts were goats. And he sent other animals as well. He sent his family 
ahead of him. Jacob was alone that night, but during the night, guess what? Someone started fighting with Jacob. He fought with the man all night. Finally, the man said, let me go. It is morning. Jacob said, I will not, I will not let you go until you bless me. The man said, I am changing your name to Israel. You fought with God and man and you won. You didn't give up. You were determined to be blessed and you won and you won. Jacob knew that the man was God. He knew that God had let him live. Boys and girls, who is in control of everything? You're right. God is in control of everything. The next day, Jacob walked to Esau's house. When the twins saw each other, they Jacob bowed to Esau. Esau ran to Jacob and they hugged each other. Jacob and Esau were brothers and friends once again. Jacob knew that God had been kind to him. And he knew that God had blessed him in spite of what he had done. Boys and girls, who is in control of everything? Yes, God is in control of everything. God promised Jacob a wonderful future and changed his name. He changed his name to Israel. Jacob would be the father of the nation of Israel. God has a wonderful future for us too, boys and girls. When Jesus died and rose from the dead, he made the way for us to be adopted into God's family and live with him forever. When you trust in Jesus, you get a new name, just like Jacob did. But your new name is the child of God. Isn't that awesome? What an awesome story. It helped us to see the big picture, boys and girls, the big picture. Who is in charge of everything? Yes, God is in charge of everything. May we pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the people in our families. Help us show your love to them. Thank you for people who are kind to us. Help us to be kind to others, especially the people we live with. Please help us to always tell the truth. We want to obey the words we read in the Bible. Please help us forgive people in our families when they do us wrong. Thank you, God, for giving us the opportunity to believe and trust in you and to understand that you are in control of everything. Thank you for forgiving us for our sins and giving us a new name a child of God. God, help these children who hear, who are here and under the presence of my voice, help them to learn too that they have an opportunity to be saved. They have the opportunity to have their name changed to child of God. In Jesus' name, these things we ask. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for worshiping with us with jq j crew today thank you very much and i'll see you next time have a very blessed week goodbye <laughs>